On May 17, 1954, the Supreme Court decision, Brown versus the Board of Education, started the process of opening schools in the country to black students. The way Dr. Doran had arranged the, the, the program itself, he had um, made a decision back in 1956. He met with the board and he told them at that particular point that he was going to integrate Moorhead State. That summer, the first two students of color at Moorhead State, Anna Louise Randolph and Ida Mae Ross, attended summer courses. Two females had signed up for courses in commerce and library science. Dr. Doran, at the opening convocation in 1957, states to all the university body, if you have any objections to the presence of African-American students who may be sitting beside you, you can find another institution of higher learning more to your liking further south. Moorhead State was the first state-supported institution in Kentucky to integrate dorms, athletic teams, and the first Ohio Valley Conference School to allow black students to participate in athletics. Marshall Banks was the first black student to participate on a varsity athletic team in the Ohio Valley Conference. And I had one indication that things weren't going to go as well as I thought, and, and the issue was this. We were taking the team, official team photograph, uh, for uh, the 59-60 season. And so, um, it clearly shows that I'm in the photograph, on one photograph, and I'm absent on the other one. Marshall Banks, originally on the MSU basketball team, switched to running cross country after a run-in with then coach Bob Laughlin. Um, I went home, made the decision, came back, and told uh, Coach Laughlin that uh, this was, you know, I was no longer gonna stay for the team. In 1959, the Ashland freshman entered Moorhead State and competed in the broad jump, the 880, the mile, and the 440-yard relay, setting the Kentucky record for the 100-yard dash. Banks graduated in 1962 and was hired in 1965 as the campus's first black faculty member. Uh, trust me as an athlete was something, but to trust me to be able to go into the classroom, to be able to shape minds of the, you know, of all the kids there. Uh, that was another bold step that he was able to take. There was another athlete after that named Howard Murphy. I think Howard was the first football player to play in, he actually played in the OVC. He was our star running back, he's from Ohio. And we, Dr. Dorn was, was very progressive. Moorhead continued to lead many firsts in desegregation. This process was not easy and many students had issues with town folks, merchants, and other students. Dr. Doran was the first to defend the students in calm relations in the changing landscapes of the civil rights era. 